parks are excellent natural laboratories. They are that because we protected them. We protected the natural processes and the landscapes way back when, when these parks were set aside in a place like Yosemite. The science that is conducted in our national parks is gonna have major impact on our future. There's nothing that replicates what the national parks uh, provide for the kinds of scientists we have here thinking about really critical issues. Global climate change has emerged as one of the greatest challenges that faces the world. Published research from U.S. national parks has shown how climate is melting glaciers, increasing tree mortality, and shifting vegetation around the world. How can we build resilience in our high elevation meadows, for example, when we know that there's change happening in snowmelt, groundwater availability, soil moisture? Science can help us understand that change, but also help us figure out ways to build resiliency and resistance to that change. So for example, one of our main projects right now that's in Yosemite National Park is trying to help the Park Service understand how different populations of endangered frogs are related to each other and whether it would be appropriate to move them from place to place or to reestablish them in places that they've been extinct. And so that's an example of how science can really help a park make good decisions about an important natural resource. You can do simulations, you can build models, but you can't actually understand the myriad interconnections of the natural world unless you're able to have top scientists working over extended periods of time in spaces that are large enough to show some of the measurable effects of some of the changes that are happening in the world. Parks certainly provide an inspiration for science. Even in my own case, where I was already dedicated to become a biologist, my specific research was inspired by visiting a park. That also speaks to why most scientists are doing the science they're doing, is because of a love of nature and inspiration in landscapes like this. And so if you look at the science that's happening in parks, a lot of it is happening high up in the treetops, you know, on the peaks of mountains. It's not happening in a laboratory. So it is here that more and more scientists will be coming to solve mysteries. And they won't be people in white coats, and they won't be nerds who look like they've never stepped out in the sunshine. They will be adventurous. That real science includes ventures into the natural world to discover and solve mysteries. Mm -hmm.